welcome to this week's edition of What's the 401 Sports? I'm Keisha Wilson. And I'm Mike McDonald. Mike, we have so much to talk about, so we're just going to get to it. The NBA season is upon us, and as of this taping, the Jimmy Butler saga continues. Butler is demanding a trade, and he was also... He also said he's not going to show up for trading cap, nor was he present during the Timberwolves media day. Now, owner Timberwolves owner Glenn Taylor had a demand of his own that Jimmy Butler is to be traded sooner than later, preferably before the start of training camp. Now, Jimmy is reportedly asking for a trade to the Brooklyn Nets, the Clippers, and the New York Knicks. However, the Knicks are reportedly not interested in Butler's services. Now, Mike, you are a Knicks fan. News of the reported disinterest by the Knicks for having Jimmy Butler on their team is getting the fans livid. Do you think that the fans should be upset, and are you upset, if the Knicks pass on Jimmy Butler? No, I'm not. I think for the Knicks, they really want to build for the future. And, you know, from their standpoint, look, you can't bring on a guy like Jimmy Butler who's been struggling to play with some younger players, and then you bring him on to the Knicks where they're also filled with a young roster as well. I think you're kind of just asking for trouble. I think what a lot of Knicks fans are thinking here is they're looking at the numbers. They're looking at these fantastic all-star caliber all-star caliber numbers that Jimmy Butler has put up over the course of the last several seasons. But at the same time, I feel like it would not necessarily be a good fit for the Knicks. I think the plan is to build for the future. The Knicks right now are not necessarily a win-now team. And I think by giving some of the pieces that they've sort of picked up over the course of the last several years, I think that that's going to wind up hurting them in the long run. Now, I get it. It is enticing to go after a guy like Butler, bring him in, try to get him signed up, right? And then at the same time, maybe try to make a push for Kyrie Irving when all is said and done. But I just think Right now, the Knicks should stand pat, and I don't see that they should go make a move for Jimmy Butler. I wholeheartedly agree. And uh, according to Jeff Zilgit of USA Today, the reports of Butler's interest in the Knicks were overstated. So allegedly, Butler wants to win sooner rather than later, which would not put the Knicks in contention, and which also makes the fact that Brooklyn Nets are on his list a head-scratcher. But that might be more for money because the Brooklyn Nets have room to offer a max contract. So I definitely agree with you. I it's I don't think that the Knicks aren't interested. It's just that it's they're sticking to their philosophy. They have learned from the trade that brought Carmelo Anthony to New York City in exchange for pretty much decimating their future. They want they have a new coach, they have new players and they want to build a culture. And they feel as though they want to build that culture through the young talent that they have and the draft picks that that they have and maybe will acquire again. And in, in terms of a trade, they, with Porzingis not on the trading block, the Knicks don't have a lot to offer. So their next valuable assets are their, their draft picks, but they want to hold on to them. So they're going to take a calculated risk to see if they can get Jimmy Butler in free agency where they don't have to give up any um, – any uh, of their assets for him. And then also, you know, the, like you mentioned, the fans are salivating over a possible Butler-Irving pairing in New York. However, if Jimmy Butler goes elsewhere, there goes that dream. And then Kyrie Irving has said on record that he hadn't talked to Jimmy Butler about th- those, you know, the, that pairing or what his career is going to look like since 2016. So... Kyrie may not even want to come to New York. We don't know how um, his season with Boston will be this year, and he may actually want to stay with a contender. Yeah. Well, it's going to be interesting, Keisha, to see how it all plays out.